dang, <laughs> that is so bright. I don't even think you could tell the top part of the fence was there. Welcome back to Be Empowered. On today's video, we're gonna be working on this 2008 Silverado once again. We're gonna finish up the headlights. We had some blinker problems. We're gonna get those fixed. We're gonna swap out the, the fog lights uh, along with the bulbs in those. We're gonna swap those over to LEDs. We are gonna install aftermarket tail lights in the back. They're both, they're, we're gonna swap them out for LED tail lights. The third brake light, all that's gonna be changed out. And we're also gonna be doing a Rough Country Bull Bar in the front with an LED strip. If you like the content in today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And if you like the video, hit that like button and also provide some comments in the comment section below. We want to know what you think. We want to know what you'd like to see in future builds. So with that said, let's get at it. All right, since we put the headlights in last time, we're just going to go ahead and swap out the LED bulbs real quick and then move on to the fog lights. Okay, since Jimmy is working on the headlights, uh, getting those fixed up, I'm going to go ahead and start on the fog lights on, and the bull bar. Okay, on the, you have to go into the back side of the wheel well, and there are three little clips you just squeeze with the, with the new nose pliers, and you should pop right in. Alright, fog light out, let's put the new one in. Alright, so if you take a look, we got the fog lights in, both sides, they work. That's about the only thing that's went right to today. I still need to swap out the light bulbs with LEDs. However, the ones that I have don't work with the connectors, so I have to I have to wear some correct ones. Went to actually put this on, which looks amazing. However, it's missing the LED strip. It is not in the packaging. We looked everywhere. So Rough Country, if you're watching this, get your crap together, man. Headlights, we're having a little bit of trouble with the headlights, uh, getting everything to fit correctly, uh, clearance issues, that type of thing. We'll get it worked out. We're gonna have to abandon our mission for the night. It's getting late. We've been, we've been wrestling with this all afternoon, all evening. So we're gonna call it a night and come back tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna to move to the rear tail lights. We got some sweet LED tail lights to swap out the, the preview, the old ones with. Uh, so let's open this box and see what they look like. Oh, dude, check those out. Man, these are going to look sweet. These are wow. killer. Let's take this plastic and just do it on one of them just so we can see. I don't know if you can see that. All we need to do is get a reverse light, and this thing is set. It looks awesome. It reminds me of something out of Star Wars, the way that the lines are on it. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Right I love now. it. So let's get the, let's get this knocked out. Let's get at it. So these are easy to deck out. They're just two screws, and then you just pull straight out. There's just two little tabs, as you can see right here, that just pop in. So it's going to be pretty easy. That is, that is muddy. And that's it. Okay, we got the old lights out. We're gonna put the new lights in. However, doing a lot of testing with the headlights and stuff and the tail lights, we drain the battery. So we have to let the truck run for a little bit. But while we do that, let's go ahead and put this one in. Uh, first, we gotta pop these little uh, holders out. So the new ones already have them on it. So we're just gonna do that and then pop the new ones in. All right, now we can start uh, reattaching the, the tail light. On the factory tail light, the middle is reversed. So on the new tail light, the reverse, which is the middle bulb, goes on the bottom. The bottom is the brake light. It actually, when we take the bulb out, it will power. It will power the brakes and the side marker. And then this one we delete. It has a cap that puts, we put over it. And that's it. So let's get at it. Bam! Look at that. That looks awesome. Get these uh, 
secured. Woo. All right, let's test them out. All right, now that we have the lights work, we're gonna go ahead and secure the other side and we'll be good to go. We're gonna actually next go ahead and put in the third brake light. All right, now we got both tail lights installed. Let's move on to the third brake light. Man, that looks sweet. All LED. All right, we have one clip. Comes off super easy. If you can see this one, it's cracked in several different places. So that's why I want to go ahead and replace this as well. All right, put the new uh, clip on. All right, she's all done. Let's uh, give, her, give the uh, brake lights and third brake light a test, see how they all look together. All the issues we were having with uh, turn signals and lights, we resolved them. The problem with the front blinkers was caused by us using an LED turn signal bulb and the, the issue behind it is the car reads the voltage or the, the resistance from, from the bulb. So whenever you have a, a bulb go out, it can tell you by flashing quickly that the bulb is, is out because it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't detect the, the resistance. With a lower resistance bulb like an LED bulb, it does the same thing for the turn signals. So we got a resistor which takes the place of that extra extra resistance that we didn't have uh, and allows the turn signals to work properly. So now we got those installed, we got the headlights in, we got all the LED bulbs swapped in the front except for the fog lights which we still are waiting for those to come in and the reverse light on the, the back tail lights. Okay, well, we're in the truck, we're lined up against the fence so that way we can see what the lights look like. This is the new LED uh, light bulb swaps uh, from the new spider headlights. Originally they did not come with LED um, projector or high beams so we swapped those out with 4500 to 6000 lumen per bulb LEDs. This is low beam only. Looks good. Now let's try high beam. Oh, dang! <laughs> that is so bright. I don't even think you could tell the top part of the fence was there with the low beam, but now with the high beam, it is crazy. All right, that's gonna do it for today's episode. So let's recap real quick what we got accomplished. We got done, we got a lot done today uh, and in this episode. Uh, we got the fog lights, we got the headlights put in completely with the turn signals corrected. Um, we, got the, we got the grill put back in. We got the third brake light, the tail lights. We got all of that done in today's episode thank you for watching if you have not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button make sure that you hit that notification bell and i know that i keep describing this vehicle as awesome or epic uh, and i need to pick another word or phrase so with that said this truck i can't say it better than what's on this shirt this is what cool looks like thank you for watching and you have a nice day god bless you god bless america it looks awesome. It looks amazing. And I need to fix some I need to pick some other words to describe this vehicle because it's just it's awesome. It's what cool looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.